Merry Christmas, and one extra entry in this advent calendar. You know, I wonder why we don't count our advent calendars backwards, starting with door 24 until today, the zeroth day. Anyway, if you wonder why I'm looking a little chunkier than usual, I just threw this Christmas jumper on over the top of what I was wearing, which includes a woolly jacket made of 100% polyester. This jumper is actually one that a co-worker got me last year. She remembered that I wear seasonal jumpers in December. See, I don't always wear black. If you're wondering about the background images yesterday, you'll see a bit more of them today. I gave an AI, Dali2, two prompts. The first was an anime winter wonderland, and the second was an anime gothic winter wonderland. What you see behind me are the results of these prompts. Something that was a bit of a tradition when I was younger was the gingerbread house. Mum used to make them every Christmas, so thanks a little, being a German and all. Here's a gingerbread house that I quickly threw together just now. I'm not going to eat it. The glue snow stuff is made of icing sugar and raw egg white. And I, a child in the 80s, grew up with Edwina Curry. Zombies and ghouls? Bring them on. But I can't be doing with raw eggs. They are the silent killers. Fear the egg. And since it's gloopy, which part am I exactly supposed to stab? I got myself two presents for Christmas. One useful, one rather less so. The first is a new dash cam. It is an AZ Dome GS63H, which was being offered as a special cheap deal on Amazon. It proudly advertises itself as a 4K dash cam, which is complete bollocks. You see, 4K is 3840 by 2160, otherwise known as 4K UHD. For some reason, once we pass full HD or 1080p that you might know from your televisions, we switch to measuring the horizontal resolution. It's about 4,000 pixels from here to there. Whereas, if we use the old method, the traditional method, going up and down, it would be 2,160 pixels. This dash cam, on the other hand, uses an OV4689 image sensor, which is about 10 years old. It offers a maximum image size of 2,688 by 1,520. This is 4 megapixel, not 4K. So while the largest image size the camera records is 2880 by 2160, this isn't proper 4K and it's false. There's simply no way you're going to get 2,000 vertical pixels out of an image sensor that can manage 1,500. Having said that, the next setting down, the 2560 by 1440, is completely within the abilities of the imager. And it's a good improvement on my previous dash cam, which is this thing. If you watch the early advent calendar with the moped morons, you'll have seen the new camera in action. But wait, it's not truly 4K, so why did I buy it? Simple, four reasons. The first is it offers a better image quality. I still cannot see license plates because of how much my car vibrates, but this isn't a fault of the dash cam. This one offers clearer pictures and much better night shots because it has a wide dynamic range setting, which greatly improves recordings in difficult conditions, such as bright sun or night. It combines two images taken at the same time with different exposure in order to enhance details rather than having really messed up exposure, which is something this was quite notorious for. Secondly, the camera has a built-in Wi-Fi access point that their app can connect to in order to retrieve video from the camera, as you can see there. So no more fiddling around with a micro SD card 
or having to deal with weird motion JPEG files. This camera creates standard H.264 video with AAC audio. The files are huge, however, at the second highest resolution, counts on writing around 450 megabytes for every 3 minute recording. It runs at high quality with a 20 megabit per second data rate. Thirdly, this camera has built in GPS so it can insert into the video the speed and the exact position, along with an accurate timestamp. I have also set mine up to burn in my license plate along with the other information. And finally, this old cheap camera is actually a replacement as the internal battery wore out on the one before. However, there is a fault with this camera in that it seems to switch to an um, overly reddish, almost sepia tone image after a couple of minutes. It's not a big thing, but it was annoying. Since the better camera only cost about twice the price of the cheap rubbishy one, it seemed like a reasonable upgrade. It's clearly an evolution as it has the same sort of weird interface that I'd imagine is fairly ubiquitous for those Chinese things. Still, it does its job. It's just a shame the license plates aren't clear, but given how much my little toy car vibrates, I think it would be rather unfair to blame the camera here. That's the first thing. For the second thing, how do I put this? It's an American product. And well, you've heard of instant whipped cream in a squirty canister, right? Well, this is squirty cheese. No, seriously, this is cheese in a pressurized squirt tube. What sick mind came up with this? It is horrifically expensive, something like nine euros. To put that into context, nine euros will buy me this much actual real cheddar. That said, being squirty cheese sounds like one of these batshit crazy things I need to try at least once in my life. So, here goes. This product is made in Wisconsin. Actually, I don't need to shake it. And it contains 33% cheddar. So let's give it a whirl. Take the lid off. Get myself something to put the cheese on. Pringle. That wasn't supposed to go there. Just one, let's see how it goes. And uh, better do it over the bowl, this could be a mess. Okay, it comes out like uh, runny poop. It tastes like that weird sort of craft sliced cheese. You know, I wouldn't call that cheddar. I think I know what can enhance this somewhat. I think that's a little more than I expected to come out, but all right. I'm going to mess my mouth up. Might as well do it in style. A little hot. A little hotter. That is just weird. I'm going to go in and make Christmas dinner, which is that. I know, I know. So, Fray Mentos. It's a tradition. I'll probably have that with, I don't know, rice or ebbly or something. So, Merry Christmas, everybody, and um, see you soon. Bye-bye.